Still no sign of him. Blood soaked letter. There was no rail car up there. Why did we even think it would be? Sure, the marauders use it to come here, but wouldn't they leave someone to guard it? So when that someone understood the others were not going to come back, he just left with it. And it looks like we're not coming back either. The spiders were just making noises in the dark corners while we were going there, but on the way back, they pounced on us as soon as we shut the gate. Not that coming back would do us any good. Roman is not a forgiving type. Liuda would be able to talk him into letting us back, but she had her mind set on leaving, and she left. On foot, no less. God admire her guts, but she's still crazy. Then again, she could actually get somewhere. It's time. The spiders are close. Farewell, everyone. Yikes. Well, I don't know if this is a good thing or a bad thing. We've got a bench here. Let's, um... Get some med kits. Some of these. And I guess we're gonna have to clean this thing. Ugh. It's so expensive, but. This thing, I think we'll just ignore. And use our second one. If we have to. Maybe it's nothing also. We might still be in spider territory, too, because... Oh my god, what now? It's probably the goddamn bear. Of course. Actually, Alyosha. At least the radio. Better than nothing. Come on, dude. Come get some. Whoa, Adios. we found him. Damn, you're alive. I'm so glad That's to cool. see you. And I just managed to get in contact with the Aurora. I they heard. are worried. And I get that. This place isn't as simple as it first seemed. Come, I'll show you. Let's go, Artyom. I'm right behind you. Hear the counter react? There's a hell of a lot of radioactive sediment behind that concrete. And soon, it'll bring an end to this valley. Because the dam barely holds. Use your binoculars if you don't believe me. Yep, I see you it. Can't stay barely here. holding. Nobody can, really. Ah, well, see that zip line? I Those do. Those kids built it back when there wasn't as much seepage. That's where we need to go. The old man said the Aurora will soon be on the dam. We gotta hurry. I think something's wrong at the Aurora. Huh. It seems that Anna is not doing. I was just gonna good. say it's probably Anna. No more soon. Come on, Artyom. There, that is a lot. Whoa. Man, I gotta tell you, I met this awesome girl here. <laughs> She's drop dead gorgeous. Emphasis on the dead. Name's Olga. And oh! <laughs> Everyone respects her. Of course. Plus, she's pretty understanding. Believe me when I said we're not enemies. She was the one who let me go from their camp. Love at first sight. I kept telling you people about my animal magnetism. So, here's your proof. <laughs> she was so smitten. She even walked with me. And, you know... This is something new for me. <laughs> wow. I hated to say goodbye. I asked her to come with us. I can't leave them all. So strong. I'm listening. So now I have to stop stuck in my head. 
unfinished letter. It was a mistake. We shouldn't have left. I should have stayed with Roman. Then I could still hope there was real life out there somewhere behind the dam and the guys would be alive. Now I know what's out there. It's a sea, endless of radioactive water. All the pus of this gangrenous world is gathered there to one day flood the tiny sandbox that was our universe for so many years. The dam won't last long. The reservoir used to be much smaller and now I walk for a week and I didn't see the end of it. If you find this letter, please tell the others in the valley. Then again, what's the point? It's not like there's anywhere else they could go. Everything is coming to an end, just like the gas in my lamp. I don't want the spiders to get me. The whole thing seems stupid now. Alex, I'm sorry. Jesus. I know. Speaking of. Yeah, we're set. Or are we? I think it smelled us. This bridge has seen better days. Great. That's great. Fan frickin' tastic. You alive there? Huh? What the hell? Oh no. Whoa! <laughs> Is he... Oh, maybe he's... No, no, be... Okay. I don't know how he's got any fur left. He's been set on fire like a hundred times. Now I'm stuck on this side with him. That's great. Whoa. I'm not going to try and kill him again. I'm just going to try and get out of here, I think. Oh, never mind. Hold on. Okay. Wow. Is this a thing I'm supposed to use? Jesus. Die here. We are going to die here. This is crazy. I 
wonder if I need to, like, try to run him off the ledge or something. We're gonna die now. Let me see. He's stopping there. Jeez. All right, well, I can't see any other way of dealing with him. So we're just going to fight. Got to get the, uh... Shit. really wish we would have come up with better weapons here. He's easy enough to dodge sideways. Okay, okay. We might have done something. Oh. Holy frick. <laughs> oh my god. We kind of, sort of, had the right idea. What an enormous beast! Well, Artyom, help me here! Let's restore this line's tension! We're done. Olga! I told you people, they just needed passage. Are you sure you're not coming? I'm sorry, Alyosha. I can't just stop and leave like this. No matter how much I like Also, she is place, actually into him. I bid you farewell, my fair lady. Ah, to hell with it. Olga, <laughs> I'll be back. Damn, that's cool. I'll be waiting. Good for him. Artyom, let's go. Olga, remember what I told you. Get them out of the valley. There's death behind the dam. I just hope she convinces them. They are stubborn like children like this. Even though they look like this, those pioneers, huh? Ah, she'll handle them all. Talk about timing. You guys really had us worried. God is in bad shape. We must move. I'm short. 
neither the air nor the drugs we found along the way. Oh, they did find the drugs. Help now. The illness has progressed too far. Come. So that bear situation is a bit confusing because the last time we saw the bear, we couldn't kill it. It seemed because I used everything we had on it, nothing happened. We, and we all just had to find silent a way out. The Aurora was running along the poison sea, held at bay by the dam. We believed we'd be back. Now, having seen the sword of Damocles hanging over the valley, we knew it was not meant to be. Alyosha is especially worried. His old guys there. Perhaps he will be able to warn her via radio and save the people there. What happens next? I have no idea. I am ready for anything. Anything but one thing. Damn. Anna, please hold on. Without you, I have nothing to live for, nothing to dream about. Doubly so, since if not for that dream of mine, you'd be all right now. found this photo of the Pacific Ocean. I just knew for some reason that we were going to go there in the end. All these rivers, mountains, deserts, they just won't do. It's ocean or bust. I believed we could I make She it. dies, I swear to God. I did. get there and if I need some help you will be there for me you will save me again won't you <coughs> I always do Artyom please stop torturing yourself it hurts to even look at you you and dad too it's not your dream and not his belief in the occupying forces it's just fate a stupid piece of cloth in the wind. Rotten concrete. An idiotic ammo dump. I told you should go. I'll give her a shot. Let her sleep a bit. This... this is not looking good at all. You gonna be okay? Come with me, Bratuha. There are things to discuss. Hey! Leave your work for the moment! Come to the bridge! Okay. Stepan, come to the bridge! All right, one moment! Tell me what happened, Nastya. Did someone bully you? No. Who would Why have are you crying, bullied her? I'm afraid. Afraid? What of? I think she's possessed by a demon. This, I have the scarf. What if it's like Aunt Anna's? <laughs> Don't worry, Nastya. You didn't breathe any gas after all. It's just a cold. We'll fix it in no time. And Aunt Anna? We'll fix her too. As soon as we find the medicine, she'll start getting better. For real? You have my word, Ooh. so don't you worry. Those are tough promises. All right, I won't. My mom says the Spartans always keep their word. <laughs> that is true, Nastya. Indeed. <laughs> Don't worry, Artyom. Everything will be okay. Anna is strong. That's not the general vibe I'm getting from other people. Alyosha here. I'm online as promised. Of course. I hope you can hear me. 
We did examine the dam and reservoir. You have to leave the valley as soon as possible. At least before the rainy season starts. The dam is barely holding, and if it gives, the valley will be washed away, and everything that remains will be deadly. Leave tomorrow, or even better, yesterday. Talk to the other girls. Get them to raise the issue at the council session. Even the pirates will have to obey if it passes. Just leave me a note so that I know which end of the world to follow you. That would actually be I'm back. super tough. With this, I have to bid you farewell. At least until tomorrow. Au revoir. He's fallen hard. I hope she heard that. Radio's in the church after all. Oh, he but doesn't even know? Her, even Satan himself wouldn't stop her. Much less a stupid taboo. He doesn't even know if it reached her. I just want to see if there's anybody back here. Hello? Alright, cool. It's so dark. some small print. The thing is radiation levels way outside of normal operational range of the scanner are also marked as errors. Well, that's dumb. Simply put, the radiation there may well be completely off the scale. We're about 500 clicks from Novosibirsk and the radiation wow. outside is almost Damn, as high as back in Moscow. It got me a morehead. Ah, the shots are 20 years old. The radiation can't be quite as high now, but still. Novosibirsk is most probably so what do we do now build a hundred filters Artyom and I will go this is not right. the other way we go together no, sir no. please right. she is my daughter his wife my paranoia about the occupation forces drove her into that damned bunker and Artyom with his dream he dragged us out of Moscow so we too are to blame. Still, we are the order. We are one crew and we should all act accordingly. We should all go. Discussion is closed. This is not an order mission. It is a personal errand. Mine and Artyom's. We don't need any help. Second, we don't know the exact location of the medicine. It might be in the city center or in one of the Academ Gorodok labs. Tara's life Act might well order? end up in your hands, too. Third and last, wherever we might go, winter is coming. <laughs> and getting the Aurora stuck in snow is what? Bad. That's something we can't allow. Do you remember what Yermak said? That reminds the huge shit. railway technology museum at the city outskirts. We'll almost certainly find a snowplow for the Aurora there. So, gentlemen. Your missions are to search the Academ Gorodot labs and prepare Aurora for the winter. Crew, get ready for the mission. Damn. This is intense. Also, we are starting constant radiation level monitoring outside. Effective immediately. Sam, you're first. Yes, sir. I think of course he the picks the American. radiation levels there are actually good news for us. Uh, you mean there was nobody left to rob the drugstores and hospitals? <laughs> exactly. Unlike the towns we've been. Interesting thought. Colonel, sir. A 
An update on the suits. Yes. What's the situation? I managed to assemble only two complete ones. You see? They're for Artyom and me. It's fate, that's what it is. <sighs> Will they help? Well, they'll protect you from dust. But even the direct radiation there is so high, it could... Yes, uh, can you add more protection? Sure, your Mac does have some lead sheets in store, but the suits are rather bulky. Yeah, I was gonna say, like, how do you even, how are you even gonna move? We aren't exactly attending a dance party there. How much time will it give us? A couple of hours. Not enough, I think. Better than nothing. Don't worry. We'll make do. Always have. I'll add some lead shielding to the car's cabin. Try to stay inside for as long as you can out there. Thanks. Get on it then. Yes, Colonel, sir. Not sure how I feel about going out with father-in-law here. It's such a huge risk. So many good people died from radiation exposure in the Hansa's railway crews. But Moscow had nothing on the radiation levels they are going to face. Nah, these people don't really care about risks. You know them well enough. <laughs> hey, tell me about that museum. <laughs> I... When did you learn He's about right. it? Ah, well, I was always a railroad fan. Even when working in the metro. We had this experimental facility near Moscow where they, they tested all kinds of railway stuff. Lots of engines and cars ended up there, so they decided to make a museum. But only found a good spot in Novosibirsk. Wow! It's not that close, I'd say. Yes, not at all close. But they still got everything there, including the most curious engines from all over the country. And some 15 years before the war, the museum was opened. I see. But why are you so sure there's a snowplow there? I know it, because they transported it there from Moscow. Ha! Oh, it's a great specimen. You'll like it for sure. <laughs> well, yeah, I'm quite sure about that. Well, he likes I his trains. Tokarev we'll might need some help there. Yes, he might. I still think we should look for that SETCOM center while we're at it. Where? How? There's a whole sector blotted out on the image. And look at its location. Sure, the Akadem Garadok is rather bad, but not too dangerous if we don't waste time there. That area, though... See? Sure, it's not the city center, but still, the only place we'd find there would be an early grave. I'll go. We'll see about that. There's nothing to see. Do you think Colonel didn't send us there just because he forgot about it? Sure I don't. I understand. I'm not that dumb after all. <laughs> Poor step out. Tak, слушай, what are we even talking about then? The Colonel said the discussion was closed. They already decided everything with Artyom, and we must respect their decision and believe that it will all work out. Because we are what? Sparta. Exactly. So let us be good and go back to planning our route to that lab. All right. Look, I think we could avoid the uh, main hotspot if we went this way. I'm so glad I found Mata's record. The medicine is called Renogen F, and she was completely amazed by it. Mind you, Renogen? she's a real doctor, unlike me. Katia. Believe me, your mother would be proud of you. Thank oh, you, Alyosha. Okay. I hoped I could help, but Anna's case seems to be extremely oh, unfortunate. Don't say that. The gas on the Volga lost most of its punch already, but it was enough to start the destructive process. Of course, the hopes I had for the valley and its air were naive, but even the valley in the end. Yes, air, water, in the forest. It's all there. But I'm afraid not for long. A pity. The people there are actually quite nice. We'd find some common ground. Is the dam in such danger? 
It is. But even if it could hold out for years more, a third of the valley is already polluted with radiation. All the fallout was accumulating at the bottom of the reservoir for years and years, and now it's seeping through. Yet if the dam fails... I hope she, they, listen to my advice. Do you love her? Yes. <laughs> if it yeah, is he fate, fell you'll meet her hard. again, definitely. Well, I'll go check up on Anna. Sure. Tell her I said hi. I'm gonna go talk to her. Damn it. Oh no. <laughs> she just walks right through me. What the hell? I guess she's just gonna rest. What the? Oh, that scared the hell out of me. Those are just the suits. Yes, Artyom. I never told this story before, but I'd like you to listen. Okay. You see, I had this Tokarev pistol. The fail-proof thing that had failed me once. It was a great gun. Powerful. Punched through any body armor you could still move in. But it only had eight bullets. And that just proved not enough. I came upon some bandits that were tormenting a family, and I just couldn't. So, I snipped and got all of them. Save for one. The fucker hit me hard. By the time the older people arrived, I was half dead. Thought they were angels. Anyhow, here is why I'm telling you this now. There are more of us now than I had bullets then. So, I'm sure we can take whatever the world throws at us and win. I'd like to believe that. Catch's note. Boys, the medicine is called Renergen F, but besides it... Be on the lookout for antibiotics. The best would be ciprofloxacin or amoxicillin, but grab whatever you find anyways. We won't get her to Nova Sibirsk if we let any infection to add to gas damage. Also try to find some ethamsalate. I only have two doses left and some medicinal gelatin in case bleeding does start again. If you see anything else like antiseptic, surgical sutures, or bandages, pack it all. We can never have too much. Still, first things come first. Okay, just we're just gonna find pretty much anything that we can find. Period. Any anything we find that's even remotely medical, we just take. Well, sounds like he's kidding up this thing with so, the lead. Up for the smoke, I, see. I guess so. I remember if I already told you about this. <laughs> we have all the kind of people I would need. And that the further I go, the less people will good. So here's what my take on this is now, Bratuha. I just wasn't lucky. And now with you and the others here, I figure I just hit a jackpot <laughs> with so many good people together. Take Duke for one. He keeps boasting about how he's going to shoot enemies up, all that. In fact, when you two were at that bridge, he didn't kill the cultists. Didn't even shoot that uh, Silantius, and that is a shot I'd take in a heartbeat. So, what does that make him? A kind guy, that's what, yeah. Or uh, Damir. Uh, visiting his homeland was his dream. I thought he'd just stay there, especially since we took that barren bastard down. No, no, Damir still went with us. He couldn't just leave his friends. That's the caliber of a man he is. Yeah, everyone's good here, I think. Alyosha too. I thought he was kind of ruderless, but he found the love of his life. Imagine that. And did he stay with her? No. He cares for you and Anna enough to leave the girl and come with us to Siberia. It's going to be a while before he sees his Olga again. So here's the main point. Bratuha, if you and the colonel have people like this coming with you, this means our cause is right and we can take anything on. Don't it? I'm inclined to agree.
All right, Crest. Enjoy your time here. Look at this thing. Woo! All right. Let's, uh, let's set up guns and stuff. So I guess we can swap this for the Takar. It's actually significantly less damage. But headshots are headshots. I think we'll go with the heavy stock. I like the airtight pneumatics. We can snipe with this thing. That's good. For this one, we're gonna go... Kalash, maybe. What's the bulldog again? Pinnacle of the Kalash family, assault rifle boasts massive improvements compared to its predecessors in terms of firepower, accuracy, ergonomics, and weight. Yeah, maybe we go with the Bulldog. Heavy stock. Long barrel. I think the long barrel we're supposed to use at a little bit of a further range, but... I think that's fine. And then here we'll set up something quiet. Oh yeah, this is the, uh, that's not what I want. Suppressor here. Scope. I think that's good. All right, and then helmet. Glass. It sound. You know what? Extended filter probably sounds pretty good here. I'm not exactly sure what I'm getting out of this NVD amplifier, to be totally honest. I think we take um, brighter flashlights. This might actually be a good trade off here for more filters. And then, I think we stay, stay with the metal detector. Could use some more bullets. And we're getting pretty dicey here. All right. I think we'll head out. Ah, Artyom. Hey. You know you're just being unfair. Colonel and you take the exciting <laughs> mission. Typical and we dude. all get the boring one. Yeah, 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 yeah. If we all went together, we'd find what we need in half an hour tops. While with just two of you, it's going to take forever. Ah, well, we'll finish our task in Akademgorodok and come help you. All right, you do that. Though... I bet you'd find a way to make it a boring chore. <laughs> like at that bridge. With the targets lined up like in a shooting gallery. But no, you had to spare those loons. <laughs> Tough guy, Duke. Tough guy. In any case, if you need any help out there, just call us over. All right. This is big. This is big. We are ready to go. Let's do it. 